Systemic racism is, as we all know, is pervasive and really in this last year moved from the shadows into full light. It's undeniable now that you know racial justice um, and racial inequality plays a huge role in in how climate change impacts communities and, and people of color in particular that they're facing the greatest burdens from the impacts of climate change and also have the most to gain if we do it right uh, in terms of uh, creating a, an economy that is going to serve all people and not leave people behind. The Equity Fund is an intermediary funder. We receive grants from other large foundations and donors and, and then make grants to organizations that are aligned with our strategy uh, in the states that we're working in. Catalyst Miami is an economic justice organization based in Miami-Dade County, Florida. Our mission is to identify and solve issues adversely impacting Miami's low wealth communities. I really like working with intermediary funders like Equity Fund. They tend to really work to build capacity and work to come up with collective strategy around, in this case, climate justice. So the Equity Fund was created to uh, basically to build power with communities of color, uh, to make sure that their voices are heard, uh, that they're leading the fight to stop climate change and build an equitable clean energy future. Shifting power is about engaging and activating folks working broadly across a set of issues that are rooted in justice. That means coming up with their community members, uh, you know, the kinds of things they want to see happen uh, from their city council or from their state government, uh, the kind of policies they want passed to improve their lives. We're already seeing like our utilities are shifting to solar, which is great, but they're doing it at the expense of rural African-American communities here in Florida. Ultimately, we need new economic models that are that are more cooperative, less, less extractive. It's important that uh, communities and other communities of color and low-income communities are able to capitalize and participate in those new systems and those new forms of energy. And it takes an organization uh, to do that, to bring people together, to uh, help them figure out what their vision is for their communities, uh, and then to organize them to work together to, to get those things done. The work really needs to change in that we have to trust and believe in solutions that are born of lived experience equally to the solutions that are based in data. Their lives matter as much as one ton of carbon does. We don't measure their lives in that same way. We need to be really thinking and measuring the lived experience that folks have and uplifting that. If we want to sort of grow and change towards more transformational climate, energy, and social and racial justice policy. Our organization and our work is looking at like shifting systems. That's how we make better policy and, and solutions that work for everyone and not just the few. Unless we tackle racial justice, we're not going to solve climate change or uh, improve our environment. Kresge's continued leadership role is, is, is absolutely important. It's about the existence of, of our planet for everyone. <laughs> so um, it's incredibly important that, that we all move together. It's gonna be uh, folks of color that are gonna lead us uh, to the kind of change that we need.